Hello, uh, I'm Erin Zimmerman. This is Global Ties Kansas City. I've got Sarah with me as well. Uh, we are two of four staff members uh, at, at the moment, all female, um, that work to bring the world to Kansas City uh, and Kansas City to the world. And so I'm going to very quickly uh, switch over to share my screen so that I can show you like the the briefest intro video ever. And please keep in mind that we created this uh, in the before times. So this, <laughs> the in-person things are not what we're doing right now, uh, but we'll get into that in a moment. Oh. You may need sound. Hundreds of world leaders come to the Kansas City area and Global Ties KC programs. These delegates come from both the public and private sector and include business owners, social entrepreneurs, government officials, librarians, teachers, members of parliament, law enforcement officials, along with dozens of other roles. At Global Ties KC, we connect these groups to their counterparts, the local community as a whole, and to school groups. So, oh no. That's my other thing is getting out of this quickly before it starts another video. I'm like really not good at that. Okay, so we're Global Ties KC. Um, that was the briefest video in the world and it doesn't uh, explain what we've done since the pandemic started, how we've evolved. And Sarah and I were actually just talking right before this and she reminded me that, um, or remind, let me know that because I'm newer to the team. Before the pandemic, we were doing a lot more um, adult pro international exchange programs. And now we're about 50-50 when it comes to student and adult opportunities. Um, so uh, before, uh, well, at the very, in, in just a moment, I will share this link uh, unless Sarah, you want to reshare it because I don't think it shares from before. Um, so this, right here uh, is something that we will uh, send you home with. I know you're already at home. I don't know what to say uh, right now um, because this is the first time I've done one of these uh, these youth fairs outside of actually being in person with people. So uh, allow me to adjust. But this uh, is what we're giving to you. Uh, you can bookmark it and then click the links. They will update. Um, uh, different web pages and stuff like that, but also you can print it out. I put the links below so that you can go back and check those whenever you'd like. Um, we have so many events and opportunities coming up uh, for youth, and we wanted to make sure that you had everything you need uh, in order to consider them and apply, and then hopefully uh, work with us in some capacity. So we've got Oh, and real quick, I said that we're connecting Kansas City to the world and the world to Kansas City. Um, our, our main goals are to promote collaboration, innovation, and peace uh, amongst cultures um, through cultural international exchange. And now we are continuing that virtually. So we do have um, virtual exchange opportunities that come up on a pretty regular basis. Uh, so if you see uh, on this page right here, um, we have the virtual events and diverse KC. So virtual events, that page will be like, we've got trivia nights, we've got international conversations that we do virtually, or that we host virtually, usually every other week, sometimes more than that. Um, most of our events are free and they're to connect you with people around the world and ideas around the world. And uh, a lot of those turn into networking opportunities that aren't like the stuffy networking things that you're asking the real questions. That's always my concern when I hear networking. I'm like, that sounds really stuffy and boring and something I don't wanna do. Um, but they're fun conversations. Uh, Diverse KC is another piece of that, which mostly is on social media and through email, but it's every week right now, we are highlighting a different country. You can learn about it. And then there are links to engage with that culture more here in Kansas City, uh, because we have so many ties to different cultures right here in Kansas City, and we want to connect you with those different organizations and people and opportunities. And when we get back to in-person stuff, there are so many different cultural events that happen in Kansas City and museums um, in and around Kansas City. We go pretty regional with that. We also have a youth diplomats opportunity. Right now we are in our 2020 cohort, co cohort. Um, but that's a lot of fun. Oh, and I didn't put our emails on this, um, but you'll be able to find them in uh, 
in every in on these pages. Um, but the Youth Diplomats opportunity is right now it's virtual, but we've got um, a nice cohort. And actually, Sarah, do you really quickly want to give like the briefest? Uh, no. She's in charge of that. I don't want to take that over from her. No, it's fine. Either way. So the Youth Diplomats program, um, it brings together 25 to 30 high school students for a nine month exper experiential learning program. So nine months, we get together once every month and it involves students from 17 different schools. This, this cohort, it's for students in Kansas and Missouri. And basically what we want to do is prepare you for a global future. So anyone who's interested in a career that is inter internationally minded, whether that means you want to be a doctor or a lawyer, like there's still opportunities to make that international. And we just kind of want to showcase that. And we also want to ensure that you're prepared for that career through professional development and networking and connections. So um, that's a really exciting opportunity. We're currently in our cohort. We actually just started last month, but it's open to freshmen and seniors. So if you're a junior this year, you can easily even apply next year. Um, so stay connected with us so that you're able to take advantage of that. Yeah, and it's actually a lot of fun. This is the first one that I'm going through as kind of an observer and a helper. Um, but even I majored in communication studies with thoughts on journalism and video production and stuff. And, and some of those things are things that are wrapped into what I do now. Uh, and now I have that uh, international spin. So really this, this uh, opportunity to be a youth diplomat is for, I feel like for everyone who is interested uh, in being internationally minded at all. Uh, we also have internship opportunities. We actually have opened up our internship application for the spring. So if anyone is interested in working with us, we are all virtual right now, um, but we have all kinds of things. If you go to the link there, opportunities, uh, ways to grow uh, right alongside with us, but also to kind of figure out, feel around, see if, if you're actually interested in some of the things that you think you might be interested in. And then we also have this other really cool opportunity coming up uh, that we are helping with uh, the USA Pavilion Expo Dubai, which is happening in person as of right now, uh, October 2021. Please find more information, but you could be a youth delegate in Dubai if you choose. So there is a, the applications are open now uh, through February, but there's more information, including uh, a couple of information sessions coming up. So with that, we have, you know, a couple of minutes here. If you have any questions for us, and Sarah, if I missed anything, please, please let me know. Holler, holler it out. Uh, yeah. I will just kind of reiterate and go through the opportunities really quick. Um, especially, I know we have a class joining us. If you have any questions, just put them in the chat box real quick. I'm sure that's the easiest way for you to do that. Um, just reiterating, um, you can and B, you can have, students can become more internationally minded through Global Ties KC through one, um, interning with us to actually meet our international visitors and leaders. You can be a part of the Diplomats program where we'll connect you to international leaders and community members in Kansas City. Um, or you can go and apply for this Expo Dubai to be a youth ambassador, which is only open to seniors because you have to be 18 when you do it. And also, if you just want to stay connected with us and attend our events, we bring in international speakers multiple times. Um, I actually just counted it up since we became virtual in March. We've engaged with, I think, 17 different countries, 70 different international leaders. We've engaged 60 high school students. Um, and that's just, you know, having to force ourselves to learn how to become virtual. So we're still going strong and we still want to meet you all and we want you to we want to bring the world to you so and I, I guess all we got virtual doesn't have to be all a bummer uh that is, <laughs> that's i feel like that's what we're working towards every day is making sure that it's you know like we said we bring the world to kansas city and kansas city to the world and this is just making it more accessible right now and uh hopefully it'll help people plan for travel and all kinds of fun things for you know post-pandemic mm -hmm.